Hey guys, Killer6, and yesterday we got a bunch of news and info about the upcoming Borderlands pre-sequel, direct from Gearbox and 2K Australia, and several gaming sites had footage from a little demo, and I wanted to kind of cover some of the things that you might not have noticed uh, during those uh, pieces of gameplay. So uh, first off, let's take a look at the, the one relic that we saw during the gameplay footage, and uh, it happened to be a relic that uh, gives a bonus to O2 capacity which it increased by 159 and it also uh, does a uh, ground pound slam power increase by 100, nearly 150 percent and it also gives bonuses to fire and corrosive resistance the text also indicates that this will give you a slam bonus to incendiary damage so that's pretty cool now the reason that these relics will be important is because oxygen is going to be crucial in this game and as you can see by the O2 reading here you have a limited amount of oxygen available to you so winning gunfights and getting more oxygen as quick as possible is going to be very important in, uh, in this game. Uh, so next up I noticed that there was a little Hyperion symbol uh, right beside of your level uh, or at least uh, beside the, this character's level and uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's uh, indicate uh, like an indication of uh, like an affiliation or uh, like what side you're on uh, at that point in the story. But uh, I think that possibly as you progress and learn more about Handsome Jack by the story, your character will maybe switch sides or maybe join the Crimson Lance. And another thing that I noticed is that uh, uh, we caught a little glimpse of somebody using a claptrap in the game, not actually seeing the claptrap. But we saw the icon next to their name with the little claptrap wearing a beret. Nothing major there, but you might not have noticed. And uh, so, speaking of claptrap, a lot of us were wondering how he would play in this game and whether or not he'd be able to hold handguns and things like that. So, from this little screenshot, I was able to determine that yes, yes, claptrap can hold a gun and I love it. <laughs> He's holding a Jacob's pistol, which is pretty awesome. So, nice job, Claptrap. And on the topic of wielding weapons, it would appear that the Lawbringer class can dual wield weapons. Uh, so, possibly she might be the, uh, the female equivalent of the Gunzerker uh, for this game. As you can see from this uh, picture where they showed the, they were showing the different classes, you can see that Nisha is uh, dual wielding pistols so pretty neat pretty neat I like that all right now on to Wilhelm and a lot of people have been wondering how Wilhelm would uh, appear in the game because as you know in Borderlands 2 he is mostly well I won't say mostly robot I mean he's kind of like got all this stuff attached to him and you know robotic elements to him but uh, he himself is still a human at the core of that robot, uh, that sounds so cheesy when I say it like that. But as you can see from the uh, the, the screenshot that I captured, as uh, right before he put on his oxygen helmet mask thing, you can see his right eye is already been replaced by a robotic eye. So I kind of wonder if maybe as you progress through the story, if uh, the more you work on his skill tree, the more like you will see slight changes in him. Um, I don't know. It, it's hard to say, really. Um, and speaking of skill trees, we only got a look at one skill tree during this uh, gameplay footage, and that was Athena's. And uh, there's some interesting things at play here, especially in regards to uh, absorbing enemy bullets and then releasing all that damage back at them uh, when the, uh, I guess, when her action skill uh, depletes, she tosses her shield and. If you have the the skill set up that uh, absorbs bullets and then uses it when you uh, when your shield expires, then you can do whatever that damage was back at the enemy, and uh, you can also choose to absorb uh, elements and uh, send that back at your enemies as well. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, so I think uh, you know that's pretty badass, and I got to say that I think a lot of people are going to want to play Athena right off the bat, myself included. Now, lastly, and because it went by so fast. In the uh, the gameplay footage the new elements and I noticed that the the only time that we saw the laser gun at work it was doing like a fire base damage which you can tell by the uh, the orange uh, damage numbers um, so I don't know if that's the only element that's available for the laser probably I mean you think about lasers they're they're gonna do like a fiery type of damage and then uh, you have the cryo gun which does ice base ice base damage which is indicated by the blue text 
which uh, I'm really looking forward to freezing enemies and then either punching them or, or ground slamming them into a like a nice icy mist. Which, uh, this, I mean, this, I'm really looking forward to this. This I'm like so pumped for this, man. You guys have no idea. But, but uh, so there it is. If you guys hadn't noticed any of these things, then please take a moment to leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more news and information as it becomes available. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.